harmful rays from the sun are screened out by an invisible layer of ozone above the atmosphere. It's vital to life on Earth to know what's going on up there. But how do you study something 25 miles above the Earth? Airplanes can't go that high because there's so little air. Rocket launch satellites zoom right through that altitude on their way to outer space. The solution? Get up there with a launch vehicle that has no engine, yet can lift thousands of pounds of equipment and was first used for atmospheric experiments way back in the 1700s. A balloon. Since 1963, more than 2,000 balloon flights have been launched from the National Scientific Balloon Center 100 miles southeast of Dallas. Preparations begin many months earlier as the scientific equipment is designed and built. When ready, the instrument package is transported to the launch site. Inflating the balloon with helium takes several hours. Finally, liftoff. Flights last a few hours or many days and end by releasing the payload so it can parachute back to Earth and a crew goes into action to recover the valuable instrument package regardless of where it lands. Meanwhile, preparations are underway for the next flight. A tool of science that's hundreds of years old but still important to scientists today, the balloon.